From live streaming to videos, results, and more, ShowNet is the number one digital source for equestrians. Miss any of the action from the nation's top horse shows? The latest highlights are here in the ShowNet Weekly Wrap. It was a jam-packed week for ShowNet, with wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Lake Placid, Brandywine, and the Great Lakes Equestrian Festival. At Lake Placid, the I Love New York Horse Show brought the two-week circuit to a close. Sam Walker and Waldo continued to add to their resume of equitation victories with a win in the Kathy Scholl Equitation Championship. The winners of the 2018 ASPCA McLean National Championship notched another win with an 86 score. They topped a field of 17 of the best-performing equitation riders of the two-week circuit. Jimmy Toronto rode Isaloo's Argentis to the top of the USHJA International Hunter Derby. The duo's stellar handy round performance propelled them to victory after returning with the second-best classic round. The win capped a perfect week for the pair. Argentis won every class he jumped at the show. History was made as the 50th anniversary of the Lake Placid Horse Shows came to a close. Kevin Babington rode to first, second, and third place honors in the Great American Insurance Grand Prix. Shoreport took top honors with Super Chilled second and Mark Q third. It was the first time Babington had ever completed a podium sweep in a Grand Prix, and the first time such an event had ever happened at Lake Placid. Brandywine featured the regional championships for the Green Hunter Incentive. Jennifer Bowersox rode Meritage Stables' Another Love to the 3-6-3-9 championship. The 10-year-old Holsteiner mare received a winning total score of 171. Callie Seaman's Silver Lining topped the 3-foot-3-foot-3 three three foot three championship. Patricia Griffith rode the 5-year-old Westphalian to top honors. The judges awarded the gelding with a 174 winning total score. Ellie Ferrigno was best in the Brandywine Cup Hunter phase. The junior rider received a score of 92, award Molly Orstrom's Clover. The duo topped a robust field of 55 competitors. The six-week Great Lakes Equestrian Festival kicked off with a win for Chris Uwanowski and Lindsay Strapas' Binja. The pair topped the opening week's welcome stake and an 11-horse jump-off. They came home nearly three seconds best. Courtney Lenkart and Lori Matthews' Alisto were best in the USHJA National Hunter Derby. The pair led wire to wire, posting high scores of 94 and 96, respectively, in the two rounds. Their winning total was 190. The Gen family started their glap circuit on a high with a 1-2 finish in the GGT Footing Grand Prix. Wilhelm Gen topped the class with the talented Van Gogh, while Teo Gen and Shakamo finished just behind them in second. It was a commanding victory for the top pair. Wilhelm and Van Gogh were more than five seconds best. More top show jumping action coming your way in the next weekly wrap.